McDonald's, we talk a lot about McDonald's and they do a lot of weird stuff, pink slime. No, they don't have pink slime. They're new commercials that are like, ah, we're pretty awful. So talk to this board and it'll tell you how not awful we are and all kinds of weird stuff. Uh, even the, the chicken, it's, yeah, all right. Anyway, uh, the CEO of McDonald's, Don Thompson, uh, re recently spoke at an event at a venture capitalist firm and uh, he was asked what they were doing to make children healthier, and he said that they actually tried to take broccoli and make it taste like bubble gum. Oh. <laughs> it did not work, that's right. Uh, to quote him, it wasn't all that, yeah. <laughs> bubble gum flavored broccoli, not all that. So they didn't do it. Um, now I know it's easy to pile on McDonald's and we do it here often. Um, but should we give them a little credit for trying to make broccoli tastier? No! Oh, okay then. Okay, first of all, the one little teeny tiny bit of slack I'll give them is, I don't know, when you guys were sick when you were little, did you ever get that really opaque, disgusting, textured, but delicious bubblegum flavored medicine? Of course. Okay, so that, that was kind of delicious. I did delicious. grow up in the 80s, okay, yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay, so that, like, you know, when you put throw a little bubblegum flavor on some stuff, it makes it better. However, shame on you, McDonald's. Everybody has to eat their vegetables, and they're supposed to taste like vegetables. Stop being an asshole. Here's the thing is everyone loves the taste of your other food. Just make broccoli taste like your other food. Don't make it taste like something you're not supposed to swallow. <laughs> Bravo, Brett Ehrlich, because, Brian yes. Brian beef oil. <laughs> right, why can't they just make it taste like the other shit that everyone's addicted to already? It's so good. In a way, you're like, okay, Vegetables, they taste like stuff you're supposed to chew and spit out. So like, only swallow the shit we make otherwise. <laughs> Why does broccoli get such a bad rap? Now I understand, when I was six, did not like the broccoli. My mom wanted me to eat broccoli. I remember it sitting there on the table. You're not gonna leave this table till that. I love broccoli now. There yeah, are same. many ways, little garlic, oil. Oh. There's so many good things you can do. Why, why, why does broccoli, Get the bad rap. And Brussels sprouts, they're great. Oh, they're mm. great. Yeah. But as an adult, I didn't eat them until about two years ago. And you gotta cover them butter bacon. Um, <laughs> but but broccoli, those cruciferous vegetables, it's a texture thing. The texture is awful, it, it, raw. Yeah. Am I, am I right? Yeah, like, raw. Right. Well, nobody right. wants to eat raw broccoli, yeah. but I guess you could. Yeah, unless you salad, but... slather it in ranch dressing. Oh, Everybody duh. likes That's, that. Yeah. Yeah, at that point, you're not making it healthy anymore. But I get it. What yeah. you're saying, like, when I was a kid, I was like, I want chicken with nothing on it. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, and if you can make edible air, that's it. <laughs> but like that's that's what it comes down to. But if to. you and have a little cheese, you can sprinkle that on the air. Yeah, yeah. well, I'll allow it, mother. <laughs> so what of the more dangerous thing have been here if they had actually made this work? If they had had yeah. bubblegum flavored broccoli and kids would have been eating that, wouldn't that have done actually more long-term damage to people eating the right foods because then you'd grow up thinking that your broccoli has to taste like bubble gum. Well, yeah. it Problem. Would've, it would have been more, ha have more long-term damage because God knows what they injected into the broccoli to make it taste like bubble gum. I yeah. mean, the, the kids would go into kidney failure at eight years old. Can you believe that that's someone's job? You know, like, so like no. Professor Frank, can you make this broccoli taste like bubble gum? <laughs> yes, I went to Masking Flavor Academy <laughs> for years just to learn how to do this. It's insane, that's a guy's job for sure. Yeah. We can do anything though. If we can make broccoli taste like bubble gum, we yeah. can do anything. anything. Yeah. I know, really. All right, final thought on this. Are we ever gonna get food right in this country? Every week now I've been doing something on food and our food sources and all the awful shit we're putting on stuff and Monsanto and all that stuff. Uh, are we ever gonna get it right? Or are we just gonna be in an endless high fructose corn syrup lifestyle forever? I'd like to say we can get it right, but we're talking also about what you brought up earlier, the explosion of population. Like how are we going to have a system that puts out food to, to handle all these people? Yeah. The, and when right now it's like, if I wanna eat right, it's gonna cost me a shit ton of money to go down to, to go down to Whole Foods, it's like twice as much when I shop there. So I don't know what the solution is. And the, if I wanna grow it at my house, that takes a certain amount of affluence. The people who are trying to break it, break through into like a higher level of society, it's, it's, it's hard not to just go get McDonald's for your family. Speaking of growing it in your house, I got this goddamn squirrel that is eating all my mint. All I have is mint and this squirrel He's literally, and he's mocking me because he also buries peanuts where the mint was. 
<laughs> and it's like, am I going to... He's gonna, leaving so, his calling card like a bandit. Right. So, yeah, exactly. He's like the water bandit from uh, Home Alone. <laughs> but the thing is, like, I can... So my options are I can spray it with some sort of chemical, and then when I have my mojito, I can now be drinking chemicals, which right. I don't want to do, which is why I was growing oh, the mint in the first place. place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or I can be... I'm under the constant threat of this squirrel. So, you know, uh, you can't win. Mesh. Or something. I don't Some know. kind of mesh. Some oh, kind of mesh. Yeah, uh, mesh. However, my what would be great is if. But then, my, the, then my front plate it would look like a freaking jail. You, you know, know what would be so sad if right now that squirrel was with all his squirrel friends. He's like, I met the most amazing, generous human <laughs> ever. He's giving me mint. And so I, I, you know, I try to pay him back. I yeah. put a little peanut. Yeah. But I know this is one-sided because that mint is delicious. Yeah. That is a good point. And I like peanuts. So why don't I just eat his peanuts? Yeah, it's very <laughs> sweet of him. He didn't have to bring you anything. <laughs>